everybody. It's Connie in her sewing room. Um, I Do you remember the other day when I showed you how to lay out your half square triangles if you're using triangles on a roll and then to cut them apart? Well, this is what they look like after they're cut apart. And um, they come apart. There's the dark. Remember, I put the dark at the top. And then here's the bottom for this pattern and I've learned how to edit these videos together so now I'm going to show you how I press them it makes it a little faster and then I'll show you how I tear the paper out and then how I trim all the ears and um, we'll get started okay this way I get about a dozen done at a time and I just lay it out on my ironing surface and I love these wool mats they do make everything lie so much flatter I just fold that back like that and put my iron on top of it and I'm making three piles of four at a time. So I get a, a dozen, 12 at a time. Now I'm going to, Darlene Zimmerman taught me this years ago. I'm gonna lay this so that my seam allowances are like that. Can you see that? Uh, this one butts up to that one. That helps keep this stable and not curve. And it works also when you don't have the paper in there. That paper really does help to stabilize it. Um, but um, if I didn't have the paper in there, this would keep that seam from wanting to curve because these are bias seams. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and just do four on this you don't have to watch me press. Okay, now to, I'm gonna use some cool ones, those are hot. So here's four together. So I'm gonna just take and I, I hold it at the seam line because it wants, to, you don't want to distort the seam if at all possible. So I just pull like that and pull like that and this does make a little mess. You want, it's kind of good to do it over a um, trash can. Okay, so now I've got four. You can sometimes do six if you want to, but I just do four because I'm making 144, so that's 12 dozen, so they go together. Now I'm laying these down so that all of these points are going this way. My seams are butted up next to each other, nice and straight. You do that and then just take a tiny bit of time here and it'll save a lot of time overall. So I've got this lined up with these four points going here and these four points here out in the air. See, these four points out in the air. So I'm just gonna take my scissors and come in here and clip all of those at once. And then I'm gonna come in here and just lift and clip, lift and clip, lift and clip, lift and clip. And then that's, those are all trimmed and ready to go. I can start sewing them together. So that's just a little tip for today and I hope you enjoy it and happy sewing.